What's good, y'all? Spoiler Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Bray Wyatt's WWE return has been mid. Hmm, that is a very interesting statement. I've seen quite a few people on social media, uh, pretty much, uh, I guess you could say, um, criticize his return as a whole. I, I know a lot of people were generally hyped at first and then the hype tend to die down um and then we actually got to his very first match back in the company the mountain dew pitch black match and uh yeah it didn't live up to the hype so the real question becomes has this whole return uh has it really worked out you know He's only feuded with one person so far, LA Knight, and uh, I believe he's supposed to be feuding with Bobby Lashley next, so I don't know. So we're going to see what WrestleMania has to say, man. Appreciate all love and support. Let's, let's get right into this one, man. Extreme Rules was a much anticipated and well-planned event that left fans hanging on the edge of their seat. Five months later, and Wyatt is missing an action and sadly not all that missed. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at why Bray Wyatt's return has been mid. Be sure Damn, to subscribe man. and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. That's uh, a very interesting take that a lot of people uh, actually agree with right now. A Bray Wyatt's return epitomized the benefits of Triple H's elevation to Chief Content Officer. Wyatt, a true fan favorite, would finally have an environment in where he could utilize his undeniable creativity and provide fans with the character they only got to see a glimpse of. Things simply couldn't go wrong. Well, yeah. spoiler, they kind of did. As number one, unleashing Wyatt's creative genius. Wyatt fans rejoiced as the man who repeatedly reinvented himself despite bad booking and a heavy hand that stifled his creativity would finally get to show fans what he was capable of. Whether you enjoyed Bray as the head of the Wyatt family, you dug the sinister symmetry of his Firefly Funhouse persona and his abominable alter ego The Fiend, or you just enjoyed his enthusiastic attitude to entertain the fans innovatively, there was much to admire and enjoy about Wyatt's work. Now things were about to get good and there were more reasons for Wyatt's fans to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Number two, Wyatt's director of long-term creative. Another bonus was the revelation that WWE had hired Rob V as the company's director of long-term creative. This hire seemed to justify itself when the WWE foreshadowed Wyatt's return with its elaborate and thoroughly entertaining White Rabbit campaign. Mm -hmm. This campaign had fans tuning into Raw and SmackDown to track clues about Wyatt's apparent return. Which, Very smart. Which worked. Three, Triple H was in charge. Who could have thought things could go sideways with Triple H running the show? The game made it his mission to bring back WWE talent that he felt had been underutilized, including wrestlers that fans adored. Bray Wyatt fit the bill, and it was understood that unlike Vince McMahon, Triple H would allow Wyatt to use the ideas that didn't necessarily fit into the box. Number 4. Wyatt would inhibit his own realm Another good sign was that WWE seemed to be keeping Wyatt in his own realm and away from top stars. And one of the problems Wyatt had faced as a fiend was that his opponents often suffered due to clash in style between him as well as the mm -hmm. fiend being booked as a nearly unstoppable opponent. From the start, it appeared Which is always hard to book. I mean, you're booking someone that has seems impossible to beat and you're booking them against your top stars. Somebody has to lose. And nine times out of ten... It ain't just an unstoppable force. So you you really got to be careful who you booked them and how you booked them. So they didn't do that the first time around. Why it would not work directly against the WWE's top stars, at least initially. There were hints he'd work with and or against some of the characters that were suggested when he debuted. Characters fans dubbed the Wyatt Six. What were the warning signs? Well, the first two months of Wyatt's return were full of goodwill from fans who were excited to see him back. However, mm -hmm. over time, the novelty began to wear off. As number one, Wyatt doesn't wrestle for months. Yep. One of the most overlooked problems with Wyatt's return was his lack of matches. On one hand, the WWE wanted to maintain the novelty of Wyatt's return and perhaps even the mystique. In hindsight, having a superstar who had not competed in over a year sitting on the sidelines wasn't wise. Wyatt could have enhanced ticket sales for live events by appearing while working matches. Another puzzling aspect of his in-ring return was how the WWE booked him in higher-risk bouts such as no DQ matches and lights-out street fights. <laughs> Wyatt's lack of matches gave him less time to get into in-ring shape and to connect with his fans besides cutting promos. 
Instead, White apparently suffered an injury, possibly the result of ring rust and working more taxing matches. Number two, Uncle Howdy goes from enemy to ally with no explanation. Who is Uncle Howdy and why is he tormenting Bray Wyatt? The WWB left clues every week, presumably setting things up for an eventual in-ring confrontation. They kept things ambiguous, but it appeared that Howdy was intent on transforming Wyatt into his true self. The IWC buzzed as rumors spread that Wyatt would wrestle Howdy at WrestleMania. They seemed to follow the thinking that Wyatt would have his own rogues gallery to battle while he was being built back up. Mm -hmm. Fans also puzzled over who was portraying Wyatt's evil uncle. However, things took a sharp 180 when Wyatt revealed he was Uncle Howdy and Howdy suddenly switched from foe to friend, aiding Wyatt rather than holding him back. Number 3, the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match. Yeah, perhaps the epitome of everything bad about Bray Wyatt's return was the Mountain Dew Pitch mm -hmm. Black match. No one knew what the match entailed, but it was known that it would be Wyatt's first televised bout against LA Knight, an unlikely opponent who rose to the occasion by giving 110% to the supernatural storyline. Mm -hmm. The match baffled fans even before it began. What exactly was a pitch black match? Mm -hmm. Fans panicked thinking it might be some sort of blindfold match, a match <laughs> with a success rate equal to the Brooklyn Brawlers. While fans were spared a blindfold match, what they got wasn't much better. Fans watched in silence as the arena lights dimmed as Blacklight bathed the participants in a glorified street fight. Mm -hmm. This wasn't a complete disaster, but it was a bit of a disappointment. The wrestling gods passed their judgement on the match afterward when Uncle Howdy dived out the platform, missing LA Knight by a true country mile. If ever something symbolised how a storyline was going, well this was it. The only upside to this match was the rumoured $1 million payday WWE collected from Mountain Dew. Yeah, they got a bag and that's awesome, but no, this, this, this did not work. It didn't. It didn't. Months of not wrestling, the hype behind it, only for it to be pretty much a glorified commercial for product placement it didn't work and now he's supposed to be facing bobby lashley i don't know how this is gonna work i don't number four wyatt's snail pace story another problem with wyatt's return has been the snail like pace of his storyline mm -hmm. the problem isn't limited to wyatt as triple h likes storylines to progress over time unfortunately this doesn't always work with The Miz and Dexter Lumez and Bray Wyatt's storylines exemplifying this. Mm -hmm. After five months, Wyatt fans have little answers to what Bray's goals are in WWE, who his allies are, and why he even returned. Number five, too much sizzle and not enough steak. Too much flash and not enough substance. Style versus substance. Mm -hmm. Too much sizzle and not enough steak. Well, however you describe it, Wyatt's run seemed to lack depth. Music and pyro are awesome, and Wyatt has lots of that, but fans still want a storyline behind things. Regrettably, they haven't had it with the WWE apparently feeling flashy lights and cool music will keep fans dazed enough to forget how average Bray Wyatt's current campaign is. And a terrible mismatch. Mm. Wyatt's match with LA Knight wasn't the end of Bray's momentum, but it was clear his return was off to a bumpy start. So what did WWE do? Well, consequently, it doubled down by putting Wyatt against a main event opponent, unaware or unconcerned that Bobby Lashley was a mismatch in terms of presentation. Yeah. Lashley has always been presented as a world-class athlete and a badass, and other than Brock Lesnar, who according to some accounts turned down a mania match with Wyatt, he seems like one of the worst possible opponents for him. This was clear from the beginning when Wyatt remixed his muscle man dance to taunt Lashley, leading to the almighty visiting SmackDown and tangling with Uncle Howdy. And it's one of those things where it's like, how is this gonna work? This is like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna, I don't know how they're gonna set this up where it makes sense. I, I hope they can. I hope they can maybe put on a match, but it's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's the supernatural gimmick. You know, I don't know how it's going to play in with somebody that, you know, takes things as seriously as uh, Bobby Lashley. So this is going to be another situation where we're going to have to really see how this plays out at WrestleMania. Now, there are conflicting stories about Wyatt's absence from WWE TV. According to one story, Wyatt is recovering from an injury. The other is that he and WWE are arguing over creative differences. Whatever the case, there are problems with Wyatt's character since his return. But what are the possible problems? How could things go worse? Again, no one is saying Bray Wyatt's return has been a disaster, but it's been in the middle. Mm -hmm. I would say mid. Leading to questions about why. Let's look at the suspects. So number one, does Wyatt have too much control? One possibility is that Bray thing. Wyatt has too much control over his character and it's a case of the inmates running the asylum. One of Wyatt's problems under Vince McMahon was that Vinnie Mac didn't understand some of Wyatt's bolder ideas. 
However, could it be that Wyatt needs some kind of moderator, even if it's someone less draconian than Vince? Mm -hmm, Number two, maybe. no long-term vision. A Bray Wyatt seems to have many ideas for his new persona and its supporting cast, but does he have an endgame in mind? The WWE hired a long-term creative editor to help with storylines, but it doesn't seem to be working. Is it because Wyatt and the editor are too close? Is the editor too busy with other programs? Number three, is Vince interfering? Hmm. Then again, is Vince interfering? While well, some fans believe McMahon's return to the business side of the WWE has included not so subtle interference with the creative process. As we've discussed many times, it's impossible to prove McMahon's interference other than what is presented on screen. Much as some fans have accused Vince of booking Brock Lesnar vs. Omos, some believe a Bray vs. Bobby Lashley match has Vince's fingerprints all over it. That could if be a so, possibility. This could explain why it's reluctance to embrace the program and the rumors of creative this differences. Could be a thing. But still, there is plenty of hope. Despite a shaky start, there are several reasons to think Bray Wyatt can get into the groove and reconnect with the fans. As number one, Wyatt's undeniable popularity. Mm -hmm. His popularity cannot be understated. As the current saying goes, Wyatt moves the needle whether it's ticket sales or merch. Short of Bray refusing to cooperate with WWE or vice versa, there needs to be a resolution. Number two, fans still dig his character. Mm -hmm. Although some fans just don't like Wyatt's gimmick, plenty do, and if he's used right, he can make the WWE a tiny sum of money and raise ratings. History has shown that the WWE Universe is always ready to embrace Wyatt, no matter how badly he's been booked. This is In this very, case, his very booking true. has been uneven, but to most fans, it's, fans it hasn't still been awful. Will show and love a for brief him. pause to regroup and develop Wyatt 6 could actually solve the problem. Mm -hmm. While the Bray Wyatt vs. Lashley match may be in jeopardy, it could turn out to be fortuitous. Whether Wyatt is injured or he's at loggerheads with WWE management over his creative direction, a brief pause could help everyone get back to business. They've already invested considerable time and money into Bray's return. Unless Vince McMahon is running things, why drop Wyatt's storyline and move on? But they have it, folks. Why we think Bray Wyatt... Yeah, man, they could definitely go into the Wyatt 6 route. I know a lot of people still want to see where that goes. So they have ways to kind of really get this back on track. It's not a dead cause, but they got to really figure out how to book this situation with Bobby where it makes sense. Maybe incorporate the Wyatt Six. Maybe incorporate more people into the mix. You know, with his, uh, you know, maybe he does end up with a faction. Who knows? There's ways they can make this work, but they gotta figure it out. Uh, because if he goes 0 for 2 in feuds that people don't care about, or it just didn't live up to the hype, you can be in trouble then. Because then it, it becomes all right. Well. I don't know if I want to see Bray Wyatt feud with anybody else if it's just going to be this. So comment down below. Let me know. What do you guys think could help Bray Wyatt kind of get back on track uh, with uh, with the, the overall fan base in the sense of, you know, getting people excited to see him and the programs that he's involved in? Let me know what suggestions you guys think could help Bray Wyatt's character in a sense and his overall um, presence in WWE to get back some of the momentum he lost. But I appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on the channel Road to 150k and I am still going to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world and your inner clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.